Now, an eight on your side investigation, pulling the pledge. Controversy at Hillsborough County Community College. Does the Pledge of Allegiance violate academic freedom? Well, apparently some members of an HCC advisory council feel that it does. They voted to drop the Pledge of Allegiance from its meetings. Yeah, the members had questioned whether the pledge is appropriate at an institution that fosters structured dissent against authority. Senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews joins us now with his report on... Uh, all right, this dissent, I mean, what's really going on here at HCC, You, you know, this all started out as a discussion about saving time at meetings. Hey, let's not recite yeah. the Pledge of Allegiance, okay? But according to preliminary minutes of a September meeting obtained by Eight on Your Side, that discussion went right off the tracks. The American flag. It rallied a stunned nation after terrorists murdered thousands. At Iwo Jima, it symbolized American resolve to defeat oppression and tyranny. I pledge allegiance. But this pledge is causing heated discussions at Hillsborough Community College. Some members of the Institutional Advisory Council, a group made up of students, faculty, and staff, expressed at a meeting in September that the Pledge of Allegiance made some people feel uncomfortable and violated their academic freedoms. Preliminary minutes of that meeting show a heated discussion about the pledge and its appropriateness in an institution of higher learning which fosters academic freedom and structured dissent against authority. That what you do? That was the opinion of one faculty member as I saw in the minutes. The council voted against reciting the pledge at its meetings. Whose voice was represented when they voted this? It, they certainly didn't represent my vote. Brad Richland is a Navy veteran and HCC student. And it troubles me, especially as a vet, because there are men and women on a daily basis that are dying to give these campuses and all of us Americans, you know, academic freedom, religious freedom, and, you know, they're dying for that flag and what it represents. Who paid for those freedoms? I, we agree. That's why we don't concur with that decision. According to HCC spokesperson Ashley Carl, the discussion about the pledge started out as a way to save time, then went in another direction. We don't support the decision that was made. I don't understand what the, what the thinking is here. Maybe perhaps they're not thinking. Now, at some of HCC's five campuses, the pledge is said before meetings, at others it's not. The Institutional Advisory Council wants to make meetings shorter, so, and to save time and to make things consistent between campuses, it voted three to one to pull the pledge. You know how much time you save by not reciting the Pledge of Allegiance? 13 seconds. That's how much time they 13 save. 13 seconds. Wow. 13 seconds. All right, so the time factor arguments are sort of questionable here. Where are they coming from with this violation of academic freedom line they're using? That's a good question. Ashley Carl says the administration just does not agree with that. And now the chair of the Institutional Advisory Council claims that the preliminary minutes that were released do not accurately reflect what went on in that meeting. And so they're going to have another meeting next month. Well, somebody had some bad minutes? Well, <laughs> I mean, come on. I, I that's, that's what minutes are for. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Steve. All right. We want to know what you think. You can weigh in on this issue. We'd like to know. Just go to our Facebook page and take part in a Pulling the Pledge poll. Thanks, Steve.